Hey, warmly welcome you all for our new video. In this video, we teach you how to create a basic website using HTML and CSS. Sorry for the language barrier, but still you can see the CC button below and you can click it and add single subtitle for this video. So let's begin. First of all, we need to talk about what is HTML and CSS. HTML is hypertext markup language. It means uh, when you look into a website, uh, every website has a front end and back end. We use HTML and CSS to develop the front end of the website. And this HTML is uh, developing the uh, text parts and the links. It means uh, when you click into a link, uh, you can, you have experience I know. Uh, when you go to a website and your cursor will turn into a hand like this and you know this is a link when you click it uh, some action be occurred sometimes a download a content sometimes skip to a, another web page likewise it, it is a, a hypertext and HTML used to develop that part and CSS when you look into a website you can see a graphical effects sometimes a colorful text sometimes a colorful background some pictures those kind of things develop with css cascading style sheet it it is the thing you can develop a website with a graphics the graphical sometimes attractive interface i use a free software for teach you html and css the name of the software is Notepad++. You can download it from free. It means it is open source software. You can download and use it free. Otherwise, you can use your computer default software, Notepad or any other software. Uh, when you look into uh, your Mac OS or Linux, you can use any kind of text editor to develop the HTML and CSS codes. If you need, I put the link below you can click it and download Notepad++ plus plus totally free. Now we look into what are the requirements of this lesson. First, you, you have to install a web browser in your computer. Otherwise, you can use your default web browser to see whether your codes, your HTML and CSS code running or not. The next thing is you have, you need some pictures uh, for add to your HTML, CSS web page. I refer a special website that you can refer and learn more and more about CSS and HTML. This is the website you can search uh, w3schools.com www.w3schools.com You can see here. Um, this is the website uh, you can see. Mm, HTML examples, CSS examples, you can see JavaScript. I don't go into uh, teach you JavaScript, it's kind of a um, big part. The next thing I teach you is how to create a HTML file. Um, you can see uh, right click and new text document, and you can rename it any name you want. Mm, let's rename it PLD. DC it's up to you and open it mm. and you can type anything anything you want and go to file and save as and you need to rename this txt file to htm or html i'm going to html and save it you can see pldc.html file created and if i you know if i click this it it is going to open with google chrome likewise this is the html file i created and you see the location file location desktop eldc.html now we look into how to work with html first of all i need to teach you what is the syntax of html the basic syntax is uh, you have to add tags html means totally tags you if you add something if you add something it's it's in a tag and i show you html this is a tag and if you open a tag you must need to close this tab HTML. 
you close the tab sorry you close the tab now and you can see the difference this is the slash mark to close the tag not every time you need to have two tags to open and close tag sometimes you have only you have you have to have only one tag to open and close do this do both things in same tag now we look into how to create a basic slide first you need to doc type dot of type html it means the language it means the language is html 5.0 next one is html the language we develop our website and for my easy i close this html tag put it down here and the next tag header tag head tag i put here and I close it here you know slash mark to close open tab mm -hmm. I type Sri Lanka Institute of Information Technology it's up to you any header you can add any text file any text to text and I see I open the body tag and I closed it for make it easy and I type um, you open a tag which h1 tag h2 tag because there is in a tag there is so many six type of tags h1 h2 h3 likewise 2H6H6 6 is the smallest one group members tag I closed H1 is the biggest tag you can see when I open this and I'm going to save this save as not HTML oh it's already saved and Lost it and I will save to another file. Stpldc one dot html file. Mm. You can see um, group members h3 tag I h4 I change to h4 and when you run it you can see the file text size was small to tag I put it in This is the unordered list. It means uh, there are two type of list: list um, order list and unordered list. I open and I close this list. Um, list item. It means in unordered list it has no any count. List item. List item one is a name. I type Sahan. Sahan, and I close it and open another tab dmt and i need to close it so and close the list close the list item tag and last item that is my name and I close this tag right then the next order the next list is order list before that i'll show you how it happens so, Oh, 
See, I closed it. You can see paragraph tag worked. And the next, the next one is I teach you how to work with unordered list. And the next list is ordered list. It means ordered. It means default it's work with numbers numeric values starting from one before that i add another header tag it's two tag take cd and i close this header tag Food. It means food means the lowest part of the website, and and I add a paragraph and I closed it. Food. I closed the food tag because I opened it. Um, and I add contact us. And I add some e email. You can add any any of text in here. Text cd six two zero at gmail dot com. It is the email address. It is in the folder. I I, I see you 
how it can happens you can reverse it you can see this is how it happens I created a calc.html file and I teach you how to link another link one HTML page to another HTML page. I copy that name, you can you saw it and go sorry at the paragraph h4 tag and go to calculator calculator and I need to close this H4 tag A href equal equal and I need to close this calc.html that is the name of our other html file and you can see we wish we go to the calculator you can see the difference I click this you can see the calculator I'm going to add a background image it is with image SISRC equal not a background image it is a logo to with equal 100 which means you can do you know width and the height is equal 80 and I need to close this tag line line center line center means image in center of the page center. In image in center you need to copy this your picture name to this and you can see image appears in here and I copy this to here and I add another picture by changing SRC copy it and change it and you can refresh it you can see and I am going to edit this and, and change this position of this image can copy it and paste here and control this and replace you can see image portion was changed I'm going to I'm going to change the I'm going to add another link href equal slit I find the website address of slit slit you can see okay I'm going to copy this and paste here href you know already and if you click it it is redirect to sit main website it is a hyperlink we are going to develop the graphical interface using css files first you need to create a css file you can see edit in notepad plus plus and file save as any name dot my style dot css and i press enter you can see my style file and i need to link this link relevant style sheet and 
need to close this and type equal text slash css and href equal style sheet and I need to close it dot css and I need to close it okay control s and save it mm. I connect those each other and I going to edit a header tag color mm, okay I add green color color green okay I add this color and I saved it and see what happened I need to refresh it mm. I think over mm. what happened okay I change my style or CSS you can see group and bar. the colors changed okay, I do font size equal 30 pixels and you can see the font type font size changed you can do this for any tag you want mm, I'm going to change this list items list items mm, color okay oh, sorry. this type oh sorry list item records color red red color and I saved it and refresh you can see both of li list items been great color changed and I need to on change only uh, group members colors okay I add ID equal names this is ID and this item I refresh replace it this ID okay you can see um, I replaced it and the list item I am deleting that hashtag sorry has names and I you can see after I save only group members mean red this is the ID not the list items it work with ID if you need a uh, add a background image you need to change the body tag body we add a background image records background image and url url and brackets inside of bracket you need to add the file name uh, sm.jpg i copy it from here and then paste it control v you know these things and i replace it you can see a background image was added This is the last part of our video. In this part, we teach you how to create a logo for totally free. And this is online website uh, www.canva.com. You need to create an account in this website. Um, I already created one. Mm. create a design or oh. search templates mm. I search I search for mm. logo uh, you can see this is search for logo and enter mm, I think I choose this one click it Double click it then you can see this loading and here I can double click on this text file and I can change the uh, CSS down HTML right. um, 
plc part part one in download in I can download it. PNG file download it download it and download it. We are going to end our video. I hope you get the basic points about HTML and CSS. If you have any questions, please comment below or email us for verify that parts. Thank you.